Good evening. Uh, welcome to our annual Christmas concert here at Anderson County High School. Uh, we're so glad to see you here. Um, we've had a busy season uh, and uh, we've had an exciting fall and I think uh, a lot of us uh, are uh, still riding that uh, uh, wonderful high from that uh, football state championship. We're so proud of our Maverick football team. Uh, and so, and, yes, absolutely. Go ahead and clap. Absolutely. <laughs> We could not have made it there without your support, and we'll talk some more about that later. So thank you very much uh, for all your support. Uh, our first piece tonight, uh, it's not necessarily a Christmas song, <clears throat> although Mr. Henry argued with me that because it has sleigh bells in it, it is a Christmas song. Kind of like Die Hard is a Christmas movie. <clears throat> so, uh, right, absolutely, it's a Christmas movie, right? Uh, uh, so we're, we're, we're incredibly excited to uh, have Mr. Henry with us. He's in, in his second year here in Anderson County, and. Uh, so this is uh, Mr. Henry uh, with the Anderson County Band playing Mount Everest.
Again, uh, we cannot thank you enough uh, for your support throughout uh, the season and uh, this, the whole year. Uh, if you helped organize, if you donated food, uh, if you served food or you donated water, money, uh, pulled a trailer, uh, drove a student to practice, picked a student up from a ball game, uh, anything else. Uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we could not uh, do this without you. Uh, you're all uh, part of our band booster organization, and without you, uh, this would not happen. Uh, we just got done with our fruit fundraiser, uh, so thank you to you and our community. Uh, we raised $7,000 uh, for the Anderson County Band. Uh, yes. <clears throat> and, uh, a good band program uh, eats money, and we are no different. Uh, uh, this money goes to paying our bus bills, to hiring staff, uh, our music arrangements for the fall, drill riders, dry cleaning, uh, uh, shirts, polos, and, and the list goes on. So thank you for all you do to support us. Uh, we've been very fortunate uh, this year, uh, this semester, to uh, have another student teacher from the University of Tennessee, uh, Mr. Timothy Hayes. Uh, this is Mr. Hayes. And, uh, he's originally from uh, Bearden, Tennessee, uh, in Knoxville, and uh, will be graduating from UT on Friday. Uh, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> this is Mr. Hayes uh, in, in the Anderson County Band playing Silent Night.
Not only uh, does the band have successes as a whole group throughout uh, the year, uh, we also have some very talented students uh, who are having some individual successes. Uh, last year we told you that uh, Will Beard was going to get to go to the Governor's School for the Arts, and he did uh, over the summer and had an amazing time. Uh, a few weeks ago, on Veterans Day, uh, some of you noticed that the Clinton Veterans Day program that we did a combined Anderson County and Clinton uh, uh, band uh, for the parade. Uh, there, there's a few reasons for that. A couple is we had a lot of our students that day that went with me to McMinn County High School to audition for the All East Jazz Band. So we put the two bands together for the parade, and uh, which was great for the community. I've heard, heard lots of positive uh, 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 notes about that. Uh, but uh, we took some students to McMinn County High School to audition for the All East Jazz Band. And we had two students that uh, placed as first alternates. So uh, anybody cancels, uh, uh, any other student from around the East Tennessee region that they competed against, if somebody cancels out of one of those three bands, these students get to go in their place, fingers crossed. Uh, so uh, those two students are Will Beard and Shady Dice. Now, there are, uh, like I said, at, uh, the, these uh, students get to go participate uh, in the All East Jazz Band at the end of January. Uh, and uh, we have one student that made the top band, uh, Tegan Lowry. <laughs> this is, uh, Tegan made the top band, he made the second chair. So, out of the, what, 40, 50? 60 trombones that tried out this that day. Uh, Tegan uh, placed uh, second place there. Uh, and so we were super excited about him. Tegan is a monster trombone player. Uh, he puts out a lot of sound. And he's, he's an all a great uh, student and person, and we just love having Tegan in the band. Uh, I've been doing band things for over 25 years. I've been teaching for 17. This is the first time uh, I've ever had a student tell me, uh, he, I bumped into him in the hallway after his audition, he said, Mr. Mr. Lamorty, this is the most fun I've ever had doing an audition. I've never heard anybody say an audition was fun. <laughs> so so th this is great. Uh, we, we just love having taken in the band. Uh, so, um, yes. It's a great accomplishment uh, for him in our program. Uh, so in, in, at the end of January, when he gets to attend, uh, he will have a, a chance to audition for the All-State Jazz Band, uh, which are the top uh, 15 jazz players in the state from all over uh, the state of Tennessee. So he'll have an opportunity uh, to audition for that. Uh, if you, uh, several of our students got to participate in the rivalry All-Star Band this weekend. Uh, so we sent about 30 students to participate in that. Uh, so if you were at the game, uh, you saw what a great job uh, they did. We also have another student uh, uh, that is new to our program and that we're excited that he is uh, with us, uh, Noah Burton. Noah uh, uh, has uh, been working extremely hard uh, and has auditioned for two uh, drum corps uh, in, in the drum corps world, uh, which is kind of like professional marching band. Uh, they take the top elite students from all over the country. Uh, Noah has auditioned for two. He auditioned last weekend for Music City and uh, a few weeks before that for the Spirit of Atlanta. Uh, and just auditioning is an honor, uh, but he, Noah has made the next round of auditions. He got a call back to audition again for the Spirit of Atlanta. And we are so excited for him and wish him good luck uh, in January when he goes back.
Thank you again for all your support. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, uh, the Anderson County High School uh, principals and administration. Without these guys, this also would not happen. Uh, they are the most supportive uh, uh, team of administrators I have ever worked with, and I'm so thankful uh, that they are here every day. Uh, also, uh, to our central office staff, Dr. Perry and the school board, they continue to support our program in uh, more ways than I can tell you, and so thank you to them. And before we leave tonight, uh, I, I want to uh, invite you all uh, to the celebration that's going to be in the Bull Ring on Thursday night uh, at 6 o'clock. Uh, uh, the, there's going to be a big celebration for our uh, football team uh, that won the state championship uh, last week. Uh, but they're also going to recognize the band and cheer and dance uh, uh, for all their efforts during the season as well. So we'd like to have as many band students uh, and parents and, uh, to support uh, all these students. Uh, because after all, it's, it's really about them uh, and, and all their efforts and what they have accomplished. And so uh, we'd like to uh, have the band members there uh, uh, to be recognized on Thursday night. So if you can make it, we'd love to have you there. Okay? Uh, thank you all again for coming tonight, and Merry Christmas.